everybody. I'm going to be doing a first demo, or a first look, at a new game called Hellcard, which is supposed to be Slay the Spire-ish, which makes it exciting for me because I love Slay the Spire-style deck-building strategy games. Between space and time, there is a place, the Archive of Awesome, an ancient vault that guards the most amazing stories and myths. Each book, a magical gateway to the paperverse. Let me mm. take you on a journey. Whatever the paper verse is like the comic verse. It's time to return to games. Okay, never mind. Apparently it's not just a demo of one, but many games. Lots of updates. Good to know. Okay, there's Hellcard. Book of Aliens. Let's see if just things a bit. Oh, I think this is maybe the same group that made Grim Fandango. Grim Fandango is incredible if anybody's ever played it. Book of Demons. A truly grim story in our collection. Not Actually not what I was looking for. Might have to back up. Yes, yes, we already know that one. The nope, never mind. I recognize that voice. I wonder if it was the same character in uh, Owl House of uh, the Collector. Wondering if that was the previous game that I had not yet played. I like the art style quite a bit. And if they did use the collector's voice, it's very appropriate. So I'm wondering if I should have played the original. Hopefully it'll still be... Join the Discord if you like. I do not have someone to co-op multiplayer with right this second, and I believe with the NDA and everything, it's a true classic. Good to know. Uh, so, skin crawler in chat lets me know. We'll try out single player. We get a new character. Select class: warrior, rogue, mage, Maggie. Go with the basic swordsman. Very look rugged looking at the moment. Choose. What is all this? One floor. I wonder if it's like kind of a floor down thing. Let's choose destination. Just go. On each floor, you have two monsters guarding location. Each hero makes their own choice. During the battle, everyone on the team can visit location. Okay. So do I choose like one or the other? Skeleton warrior, zombie corpse, remove cards. Let's try upgrading cards first. Oh, Grim Fandango is a classic, yeah, absolutely. Battle begins. We're playing cards, requires mana once you're out. Punish. Okay. Okay. So what the monster is doing. Each hero. Range ones from far away. So I got sword slashes and shield blocks right this second. They all have five health. So I can't kill anybody yet. And I got three mana, so I could play three block, which would give me... So I, if I play one shield block, I'm at least blocking two. 
Oh, this is minus two. So slice. Slice. I don't think they're in range yet, but I don't have any mana left anyway, so we're gonna end our turn. Okay. Round two, Mighty Blast, deal two damage and a medium radius. That seems like a good play there, because it kills one of them at least. If I Sword Slash this one, I take two damage. If I block, I take one damage. So I believe I will block and take one damage. I'm out of mana, so we can no longer. I'm not sure mana feels appropriate word for um do the that one again. Bonk. In combat. Victory! One gem. One new card. Sticks and stones deal damage equal to your block. That seems very good. Safeguard also seems very good. Yeah. Energy, I almost want to call it like initiative. You should be able to spend initiative or something like that. Otherwise, it, it makes sense. Mana, we all know what mana means. Deal damage equal to your block seems kind of fun. And we got a new companion. Sharpshooter seems important since um, I need to have some range, theoretically. Common Rogue, Common Weir, Berserker, Common Weir. Can I see with your heal? 3 HP, though, after each battle. Get one additional mana. We got damaged. And this one, heal yourself 5 HP after killing your first monster in battle. That's quite good. Let's go with that and continue. You can access all maps. You can spend gemstones. I can spend one and a 50-50 shot to get three. That seems like a good start. And did not. Get a wooden bowl. What does a wooden bowl do? Use all gemstones and heal 10 HP at the beginning of body, uh, battle. Meh. Um, I think if we just go down this rung now, it seems pretty good, right? Because other players heal for 20%. Or are there cards I can buy right now? No, this is just cards. Well, can I upgrade? Oh, there's a number of upgrades that it can be made to cards. Interesting. Good to know. Or go down, or is there more stuff I can... Okay. Don't leave party. Can I go back to the previous screen? So there's deck. That's Almanac. There's a question mark where I'm choosing, I guess. So I guess I can... Ah, uh, that's too bad. But I can't go back to... If I leave party, that just, uh, yeah, it goes to the screen. So I only get the opportunity to spend the gems. Good to know. Wish I could, like, click on gems and go back. So what are our options here? Zombie corpse. Guardian corpses can get you new cards. Upgrade cards. So we want new cards or upgrade cards. Let's go for some new cards since we're exploring this game. There's a lot of enemies. Battle begins. Influence buffs or debuffs that work over time over them. Okay. Canyons help during battle. They have mana. Yeah. One card will be offensive, one card will be defensive. You can play companion cards in the same way as your own cards. After you play the cards, it'll be shown you a new card when possible. Every time companion draw cards that get managed, they might mana they may might change their chosen cards. Okay. Some monsters have special features that affect the fight. Okay, so what are these features? Flying Wild Hog. Generate beginning. So it so this guy heals, so we should probably kill him. 
turns one damage when non-lethally hit. So we need lethal on that guy. So get rid of that guy. Uh, shield her, so she's okay. And what? Oh, this is the sharpshooter. Card options, I assume. Yes, let's do that. With your hand. Add two Talon arrows to your hand. Talon arrow, two damage to the first monster in a long, narrow cone. So like that. But can I get three there? That might be worthwhile. Except that didn't hit all three. Did I just mess it up at the last second there? Or was that just the people who were in range was all, and I kind of messed that up? Let's two damage that guy. I think that's all I can do, yeah? Then we got more mana to block, I guess. My turn. Only one hits. That's good to know. Okay. Okay, two damage. Two block. Move a monster from near to far range. Okay, that's not a bad thing. Quiver. One if far, so let's that. I feel like we need to do this. And then get rid of him. His phone is going off for unknown reasons. Kills that one. That one doesn't cost anything. Might as well kill that guy. Did my alarm go off? There we go. And then we can block for two, which is helpful. We got more damage to work with, so let's go for the five guy. Get him down a little bit. Kind of like this. It's a little bit different. Like, out of all the... Spire replicas. The guy back he comes right back in range. You get him right back out of range. Let's knock that guy. Uh, actually, first, let's see for the sword slash. Can I yeah, only hit a certain amount of guys in range? Let's make sure we're not over. Yeah, we're getting maximum value here. Just in case. That's on the E. Pile on the damage. There you go. Not bad. Another gem, another card. Strain, what is strain? Increases mana one cost each use and it already costs two so it feels like that's really good but the cost increases dramatically preparation add three stamina Stamina can be added or subtracted by special card effects when there are 10 points of stamina stacked. The character draws three cards, gets stamina burst, which I'm not sure what that is, and stamina resets to zero. Stamina burst, that's what it is. Next card, 
played costs zero mana and is played twice, which seems good, but it seems like you need to be able to draw it multiple... So you need to draw it at least three times. So that's not useful to us right this second. Disable prevents hero from getting block from their own cards. Deal three damage in a medium radius, lose block. We can still get block from other people's cards, yes? And so this seems like a... Uh, I'm not sure if monsters are increasing in damage. It's the other trick, so we'll check that out. Okay, we've got a Berserker who lets us get one additional mana. This one, get 10 block after using a Bolt card three times in a turn. That's cool. Protector, heal three after each battle you survive. That seems really uh, helpful since health keeps us alive. So let's grab that. Okay, so now we got four coins. This lets us select one of three legendary artifacts. What is weakest link? Move the selected monster to your near section, gain three stamina. So that's the, for the stamina burst thing again. That's good to know, other cards give stamina. Now we know that. Barricade gives six blocks, that's really good. But I would have to get this, but I exchange Sword Slash. And I don't think I have Sword Slash. Judgment Skill, what's this? Ooh, also, one action. Uh, stamina can be added or subtracted, stamina burst. Stretch, gain two stamina, get five stamina if you don't have any. Exchange slam, which we have for boomerang shield, but we don't have boomerang shield. And I'm wondering if that's a factor. I'll figure that out down the line. Let's try this one first, because I'm interested in artifacts. Give yourself 50% of maximum HP if you've survived the combat with... So that's if we're down on health, we get a bunch of health. Lose three mana on the first turn and get one mana on later turns. That seems good much later and will kill me right now. Goldfish, if another hero starts a turn with less, transfer half your current HP. So Anchor seems like the one that isn't hurting us right now. These two seem cool, but useful later and not useful right now. Flawed Ruby, like if I can get more mana later, seems really good. It also depends on like what first turns look like, because I don't know what first turns look like right this second, because first turns could be like really nice preparatory turns from here on out. Where there's like no monsters surrounding, or I could just get absolutely battered. And I also don't know the way artifacts, if they like are expended or, you know what, let's just try Flawed Ruby just to see what the hell it's about down the line. So let's choose destination. Oh, can I choose previous? No, okay. Enter vault, new artifacts, upgrade. Let's let's upgrade cards. Seems like an interesting idea. Just a second. Yeah, so here is it Yeah, so he has nothing. That might not be terrible. Two damage. Let's get rid of that guy. Oh, it didn't. Oh, it's because it's. I guess he's. Deal two damage, one damage if the target is near. I guess he's near. That's the problem here. What can the protector. Get rid of him. Camaraderie. Everybody draws one card. That seems like a good idea. Uh, so now we're not taking any damage right this second, so we can work on creatures that are out here. So we want to kill this guy at a distance, it looks like. Else, and maybe we want to kick him next turn if he gets too close. I think that's it. End turn. 
Oh man, he's got a lot of HP there. This is where EOE is quite nice. Yikes. All right. So three damage. So I can do five damage right now, which could kill a lot of monsters. Uh, Evil Eye. Dunno. Kind of wanted to kick back right this second. To deal with these guys. So that would be four. Actually, hold on, meeting them. I do this. Okay. Uh, two damage for right that guy. Out now. We can do this. Okay. And we need to take care of those guys at a distance so they don't explode on us. This ramped up quite a bit, pretty rapidly. I assume, yeah, I, hopefully that just la that's uh, this turn. That guy looks kind of weird. Flying world. Okay. Sticks and stones. Steal damage equal to block, which isn't going to help us right this second. Let's draw a card. Tactics. Draw two guards. Gain two block. That could be quite nice. On. Wish it would let us know whether they were near or far in a particular moment. It's the other trick of it. So let's, I don't know that that guy is hitting right now, but regardless, I'm gonna kick him out. Need to take care of some of these guys. Out here. Hold on, let's see how much damage we're doing otherwise. We can stack up the minor damage. He doesn't have block, so I'm wondering if we can just slice him down a little bit. Okay, those, they're taking one and one now. Or, just one generally. The close guy who's gonna slice us. I think so. Hard to tell a little bit. Okay, now we're not taking any damage, which is nice. Still have one mana. We'll play that for the hell of it. Oh, you can actually play it on a character? That's good to know. Cool. We'll end turn. And in theory, everything will be good. Okay. Care of that one. Oh, that didn't. Okay, that's good to know. Can we kill this guy without taking damage? Is the next question. No. Oh well. Fuck them. I'm hoping to be able to hit both of them. I cannot. Can do. Two damage. Sharpshooter gets that. Victory. In theory, I wonder if it's only the protector that heals. Yeah, it's only the protector that heals. Good to know. New card. Deal five damage in a wide cone. 
That actually seems worth it. Your sword card deals plus two damage. Exhaust unstackable. So you can't bonus it. Are sword cards just all the red cards or just cards that say sword on them? I'm curious. Go to the almanac. Maybe it'll let us know. So these are warrior cards, not necessarily sword cards. So I'm just wondering if it's words, ones that say sword. So like sword slash, heavy sword, short sword. Because if it's all the red cards, that would be amazing. Go with the akimbo. It's apparently common. Transforming cards evolve it to a higher rarity with similar effects. Okay, good to know. Okay, I would have saved gems for this if I had realized with costs. So I can, looks like transfer upgrade two cards here. Sticks and stones to red mist. Non-summon monster this kills, that seems really good. Way to heal. And over here I can also, oh I, uh, interesting, yeah, okay, mighty blow, deal eight damage in a medium radius, lose Block at disarm. Reckless charge, deal damage equal to the cost of all cards in your hand. Discard your hand, deal four damage in the medium radius. So it's four damage, eight damage. Let's go with that one, that just looks really cool. Let's play a little recklessly. And then we don't have any money left, so we continue. Camp where you can heal yourself. Armory where you can heal others. Upgrade a card to get bonus block for next battle. Sure. Let's see how that works. I do love, I, I really enjoy the art style of this, I will say. Lots of monsters. Okay. Wish I could, uh,. So I can, oh right, because I got that one. Deep breath, gain two stamina, draw two cards, gain four block. First, so we got to wait on the imps, because it's clockwork arrow, three damage, two damage. That's two. Wondering if uh, if I wait for the we're gonna experiment here and see if we wait for the kick if he just does damage but I can kill him later and we'll I hit more than that I don't think so oh and he exploded on me because he yeah all right. Good to know. Go that one. So he's taken five damage, but he heals for three at the end, so we'll see how it goes. Also curious, like interesting. So one guy waited. Oh we got a summoner back there. So we should go after the summoner when we can. Also we got this gigantic guy. Incubus. We got Disarm. So I could do... 12. And potentially not be in any form of threat, really. There, let's deal more damage. Feeling that guy's pretty nasty, so let's work on him a little bit. Care of the ones we can take care of, though. Let me kick him back. I should have kicked him. That's all right, we'll take care of him with this. Fool's Guard, gain three block at the start of the turn, gain weak. 
him. That fix. Draw cards, get block. Let's just block here. We want to kill that guy ASAP. Skeletor Mancer. So we need to get rid of the... Oh, he's just sitting back. That's good. Making himself more dangerous. Strain again. Yeah, it costs more. That's kind of cool. See that? Oh, I should have done this one first. Deal three for each monster, non summon monster that this kills. So, first, let's see if we can get some damage. Heal up a little bit. Sword slash him. He's blocking now. Okay, let's... I guess we gotta go through his minion first. I think I want to get rid of the summoner before anything else. I guess what I'm hoping is, is that the Incubus stays at a distance for that we can kill this guy. Oh, just kidding. Alright, can we get Kick back? Yeah, go away. Uh, get damage in a radius. Let's make sure we can kill that guy first. Oh, it's still in range? Alright, that's annoying. That's good to know, though. Great damage there. Okay, now I just have to worry about... Yeah. The guy over here? Arrows. Keep drawing those arrows, which is nice. Sharpshooter. And sharpshooter is pretty good. New card. Kill a wounded monster with 10 HP or less. Haymaker. Deal four damage. Deal additional four damage if the target has block. Deal three damage in a medium radius. Lose block. Get disarm. We already have some slams. Haymaker seems pretty good. New companion. Probably should have looked at uh, upgrades there. So we, we have a rogue, but rogues are just real good. Uh, we don't have a berserker yet. Random player gets healing blood at the beginning of this combat. Bloody Grail seems pretty good, so why don't we try grabbing a mage? So we'd have to retire another and pick this one up. Protector heals. This, so it's like random healing versus... I'm going to get rid of the Protector just because... <clears throat> it's interesting to experiment, I think. Get initiative. Remove shield block. Doesn't seem terrible. Oh, can I? I could choose any of these. Oh, I thought it was like this. You got to choose this one, then this one, then this one. That's good to know now. Okay, clean weapon. Upgrade swords akimbo. Costs increased by one mana with each. So what's the upgrade? Oh, it's a transform or upgrade. I see. This would be remove selected card. This is remove a card. Exchange shield block for a haymaker. So this is getting rid of a shield and getting us another haymaker. Deal two damage, deal four. So heal. All heroes get five block at the start of each turn in the next battle. That actually seems real strong. 
Especially because I think we're facing a boss here. Yeah? Skill Circer. Good name. Encounter a Sage. Okay, that wasn't entirely clear, but we, we're, we're getting the hang of this. Yeah, five block might be good here. Especially because this guy right here isn't doing anything right this second. Magic Bolt. We don't need that yet. Sharp Arrow. Yeah, I'm taking 30 damage, turn one. Sheesh. Yeah, let's see if we can... I guess it would be two. One, one, one. One to everybody, I guess. Okay, let's see if we can take... We can stop from taking 30 here. Not sure if that will be the... Case or not. Two. I'm cursed. Not good. What's the curse? Does it say? Salt. Weak. You deal one less damage this turn. That's good. I got it when I got it then. Deal one damage. Oh, I should have played that in between, huh? Mark a monster with the highest strength. Okay. Freeze. Get one blocked all heroes. That's nice. Still taking a bajillion damage, though. Where's the 30? I guess all these guys have range. Got it. All right. This is where it sucks having that ruby. Potentially. Survive this combat. Deal five damage. Can I hit. How many can I hit? I'm tempted to like hit all these guys. My minus twenty eight will be a kill. I don't know that I can do anything about the minus twenty eight though. All right, let's try getting rid of them. And healing up a bunch. So maybe like that. All I can do. Link. Other heroes gain mana equal to yours. Draw one card. Lose all your mana. Get burnout. What's burnout? Hero can't get additional mana, so I would be giving everyone else three mana. Not sure I want that right this second. Let's get some arrows. That's the guy we need to kill. Oh, I get it. It's kind of like in a cone as well because it's like who you're allowed to hit here. First. Magic bolts. Sure, one blocked all heroes. Can we freeze that guy? Apparently we can. Seems like a good thing to do. One block. Ruby kicking. Who's attacking us? They're all moving. So let's kick that one. That's all we can do this turn. Yeesh! Not looking good. Well, that was weird. I guess they have range sometimes as well. Seeing any of these characters have block. They're all attacking. Hold 
that thought though. I think. Okay, I think we want to do. I want to try to save our rogue, maybe. Involves this. Four damage, two damage, two damage. Four damage. Or I guess only two at that range. Zero. Am I weakened? Deal two less damage this turn. Got it. Well, that's good to know now. Okay, so now I'm dealing one less damage. Next round I'll use that. Add block. Oh, right, because I'm doing one less damage. Silly me. More block. Clockwork arrow, three damage. So I suppose we should have... Uh, Maybe focused on not killing the cursed ones. I'm not sure how to. But, or kill the cursed ones last is maybe the other trick of it. Might have been the other way to go. Is that going to be a death for the sharpshooter? Potentially dead sharpshooter? We'll see. Sharpshooter down to 3 HP. Swords Akimbo. Strain increases the cost. That's okay. It's the radius here. Not sure that that does any damage for us. Fury. Deal 8 damage. And they're all, like, spread out. If we can kill him, we can. Marked. Meditation, gain one mana each turn. That seems cool. I think we're okay there. Let's just get rid of the summoner. That way we don't have to deal with the monsters constantly coming back. And turn. I think we might get the boss here, guys. Okay, so summon the monster. Uh, does that kill the summon? It does not. Damage. Let's work on this guy. We'll deal with the other guy once he gets closer. Kind of a interesting grunt he's got there. Mm, might as well. Freeze him. Give everybody else some mana. That seems like a good chance to use that. Buckler. In turn. Sharpen bones. That's actually cute. Sharpen bones. They lose a little bit of health, but they gain damage. Be fun to actually play this game in reverse sort of thing. Uh, three damage. Let's just work on the boss. I'm going to leave the skeleton for last to see if combat ends with the summon in play. Or if it ends with the... Uh... Okay, so he exploded everywhere, which is pretty great. He dies. Victory. Gems a new card. 
Deal 12 damage, lose. Oh, that's pretty good. Counter Strike. Great game, by the way. Maybe the best of all time. Deal 1 damage to monster from monster attack. Leaves you with block. Exhaust. Unstackable. Wait. Let me think about this. You deal one damage to a monster if the monster's attack leaves you with block. So you can like stack block and then got it. That seems really strong. Particularly if you can combo with some healing stuff. So let's go with that. We need to heal the sharpshooter or retire the sharpshooter. One of the two. 50-50 chance to get more gems. Let's do it. Got more gems. All right. Mocha pot. Can use two options in each future location. Oh, I can't do that one there. Remove sword slash. Remove selected card. Remove two selected cards. Transform, upgrade a selected card. Transform, upgrade a card chosen from skill cards. That does not seem bad. So maybe remove two. Maybe a shield block and a sword slash. And then weld. Four block to all heroes seems pretty good. Okay, is there a we heal the person option now? So otherwise our sharpshooter's gonna... Actually, our sharpshooter's already salty right here. Heal yourself. So let's go heal ourselves here, maybe, if we survive. Buttons get stronger every time they're attacked. Good to know. A lot of monsters to... Oof! This, uh... These buttons? No, Templar. So... That's nice. How about we... Who are we getting attacked by even? Just him? Okay. What's strain do again? Oh, it increases. Yeah, so let's do that. That. Okay, he's taking minus nine from who? So we got those two guys. So that guy back there. That one there. And anybody else? Swords Akimbo. It's them. But we do 12. And then one. Still taking six at range from that guy, it looks like. So let's add some block. Block. Actually, can I kill that guy? Definitely don't like that. Maybe we should work on one of these guys that provides curse for us. So that I get rid of the imp, so he's not doing AoE. How much damage does this do? Okay, quiver. Sure. Get bonus talent arrows. Let's start working on that guy. Oh, he's in the way, right? Yeah, let's maybe attack that guy since he's like right in our face. And turn. Monster's turn. These guys are nice and grouped up. Okay, we got a good batches of them. It's 
nice of them to line up for me. Five damage. Wouldn't kill any of them. But what if I do three damage first? Maybe we should have done that first. Who are we freezing? He's that guy, so he's not hitting us so hard again. Uh, some shielding, some shielding. Link. Burnout. That's fine. Let's kick that guy out of here so he's not attacking us. River. Eagle Eye. Blackwork Arrow. It's the near guy. Is there a way we can angle it? So, it, yeah, there we go. And then, no. All right, whatever. Buckler. Doesn't provide any block for anybody else, but can't. Don't have enough for that. But I can sword slash this guy. So I'm taking less damage. He's still taking eight, three from here, five from there. Yes, all right. Feels like uh, this is one of those games where you could get maximum benefit from just slowing down quite a bit and just planning every little last aspect out. Not sure I wanna spend that much time though. Nice of them to just group up for me once again. That radius. And then that radius. And magic bolt that guy. Get some mana back. Magic bolt that guy. Get some mana back. It does curse us. Let's freeze the big mean guy. Equilibrium. Let's do that. Add block. Add block. Give them some mana. Sort of can go that way. Can't do anything more. Uh. We can get the one that's attacking. Okay. Still not hitting the guy I want. Is, if I chose that angle, nope. Get rid of that guy, so he at least is not doing any damage here. Delusion. Okay, I think I need to block. Oh, actually, we're okay. Enter. Not sure where I got delusion from. Okay, another summon. Goatman. Goatman. We hit everybody? Can we kill them all? Hmm. These guys are becoming a problem. Actually play heroism. Let's pick that guy out. Magic bolt that guy to get the mana back. Let's 
freeze, Mr. Goatman. Shield, shield, shield. Looks like that's what we're doing. First. That do damage? Yes. Okay. Start wailing on the guys that are. I guess this is just not going into anything anyway, because they're all shielded. There's three back there, huh? So I actually get some damage. Ugh. Where are the new monsters coming from? Alright. Slam. Swords akimbo is maybe what I should have done instead, but I'll do that in Fury. And then Magic Bolt. <laughs> I like the goat sound effect there. Uh, there, there. Magic bolt. Let's do this. So that we can get the final kill. Oh, it doesn't get the kill. Um, I don't think I can do anything. Let's do that. And turn. Flank. Oh no. Wonder if I should wait for um because he's just blocking and eventually you get a card that heals me up if I do damage, right? I don't think I get any bonus for ending it more rapidly, yeah? Yeah, red mist. Five, so let's pepper him down and then there, get some health. Victory gem card, second wind, get another fury, which is nice. Tip the scales is looking better now, especially. Via some of like the disarm stuff. I don't know if it negates disarm. Five stamina, draw two cards, gain two mana. Seems really good. As it replaces itself. Increase max HP. So I kind of want to heal. And is this for the characters it counts for? Yeah. So I guess I can only increase... Oh, and it doesn't work for... That's annoying, because I want to heal the sharpshooter. I guess I'll just have to retire the sharpshooter, which is something I really don't want to do. We'll go one more floor, and then I'll call that the uh, demo thus far. New cards. Oh, since healing doesn't let us heal others, now we know. Lots of goats. Mmm. Healing blood. Summons. First of all, let's mark the do the free thing. Mark the bad guy. Do that cool thing. Can't stop a lot of the damage that's incoming. Looks like. Fire a random shot out. Work on the goat because he makes fun sounds. 
take him out. Gain block. Can't block anything. This doesn't do anything, but I'll play it anyway. End turn. Oh, that guy adds block to everybody, so I should take care of him early. Oh, Goatman. Man, there's Goatmans everywhere, too, though. Oh, this is getting out of hand. I think I might die here. So many bad guys. Yikes. Alright, second win seems like a good thing to do. Eight damage in a radius. Can we kill that guy? Five damage. Two of them. Get rid of that guy. A little less damage. Gonna kill those two. Hmm. All right. Deal damage to cool. Cool that that's a thing. Can we soften up here? I can't attack the guys over there. These guys are all swacking at me. I just point that direction. I can kind of do some damage. Yeah, I think this is just where we die. Who's doing the most damage? Six from that guy. Saves a robe briefly. Okay, block, block. Lost our conjurer. I like the music picking up because it knows it's got me on the back foot here. What happens when our guy dies here? Let's see what it looks like. I guess he just falls apart like a statue. Has a nice little rip. Woof. All right. Let's heal, because that seems like a good idea. Since we're going out, let's go out with the... Uh... Go out excitedly. Sword slash. Can't shield block ourselves, yeah? But can we? Oh, I just spent it. That's all right. All right. Shoot the random goat. Because it's fun. Fire. Buckler. I think that is... Yeah, not looking good. Do you find it interesting they just kind of wander all over the place? Poison wound doesn't sound good. Alright. So I heal. After a little bit. Who can we kick? Can we kick that guy? We... No. Okay, apparently not. Can we kill that guy? Keep ourselves alive. Yes. Okay. Who else we... Got to deal with urgently here. Oops. I don't know. This is looking pretty dire. Hmm. 
getting all sorts of shielding. Okay. Do what we can. Four block doesn't save us. Yeah, I think that will be it. Let's kick someone just to kick him. That guy. You were in the range. Sorry, buddy. Sharp rain. That's cool that I got that right the second. Although, oof. Okay, that. Oh. So it is officially a roguelike. Defeat. Almost. Where is this stuff coming from? Lucky. Lucky. Okay. How did you find this? Okay. Okay. So it looks like you can level up to get stronger in order to actually make the runs worthwhile. Alright, so that's a demo of Hellcard. Hope you guys enjoyed it.